Hi, Leo. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your November 2023 tarot reading. This is a reading for all Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hey, we are going to jump right into it today, but I do want to let anyone who is new here know welcome. I'm glad you're here. And that I post new readings on Friday and then again on Monday. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are different every week. Today's reading will be a detailed Celtic cross style reading. Then next week will be something else. I have started adding in a Wednesday money and career reading periodically. So if you don't mind hitting the like button on this reading, I sure appreciate it. But it also will tell YouTube um, to show this reading to people who are looking for it. And it will put the Wednesday reading in your algorithm when those come out. All right. What advice do you have for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Leo need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Leo? Messages for Leo, please. All right, we're going to lay out the tarot, and then I'm going to pull a moonology manifestation card just to bring the whole thing together. Current situation, five of cups. Oh God, dear Lord, the immediate influence is the ten of swords, but don't worry. You have the queen of pentacles in your subconscious. You have the hierophant in the distant past. You have the six of cups in the more recent past. You have the seven of cups, six, seven of cups in a row. It's okay, 78 cards here. Uh, you have the nine of cups representing you. Justice is the person or situation you're attracting. The Knight of Cups is in your hopes and fears. Whoops, I accidentally pulled two. That's interesting. I pulled the Chariot. That would have been next, but somehow I got this attached. So I'm going to take two from the bottom of the deck. Actually, I'm going to take three because you know what? Now there's all these synchronicities I can't ignore. So this Page of Cups came out. But the reason why I took the Nine is you have the Ten of Cups here underneath. I'm sorry, I took the Nine. You have the Nine of Cups. Took the Ten. Dear Lord. Okay, you're represented by the Nine of Cups. The Ten of Cups would have normally come out if that page wouldn't have. So I don't know. I just felt like it was the right thing to do. So just bear with me, okay? There's a method to my madness. All right, what advice do you have for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. <clears throat> okay, you have here. Last quarter moon in Scorpio, reveal what needs to be seen. So I like that a lot with your current situation. Information is going to come out to move you forward. And I'm going to put this page back up with the chariot. There's something about the two of those that feels important to me. So, all right. So this is what normally we would have had. For somebody, you do have a reconciliation, okay? And I, a lot of times, if the cards don't say it, I don't try to force the story. But I do feel like for somebody here... There's a second chance. And so I do feel like there's an openness, but I feel like there's some hesitation. It may be on your part. I feel like if this person comes forward in a very direct way, but in a forthcoming way, they're owning their part in things. They're really, they're in the energy of justice. That's all about integrity. I do feel like that's the second chance. But if they don't come forward that way, because this is not you chasing somebody down either. It's the decision is going to be up to you. But either way, you're tickled. You're in a place where you have wish fulfillment. So if it is a situation with a new person coming in, I do feel like they mark all the boxes. They check all the boxes. They're very mature. They are, like I said, they have a lot of integrity. They're somebody who you can trust. I mean, un, uh, impeccably, impeccably, I keep hearing. And so their wor word is impeccable. Whatever it is, the word is impeccable is what I keep hearing. And so if it's a job, if it's a person, it's going to be very trustworthy. So you have Taurus, Libra, Cancer here. We have what appears to be, let's see, just the three major arcana. But with this, you've got that rainbow after the storm. And the Queen of Cups, too, indicates love. It indicates support. It indicates being valued. So I do feel like with that Two of Pentacles, what you want is here. What you've asked about is here. So if you're going through a difficult period, because dear Lord, nothing says challenge louder than this. I mean, there's disappointing energy, no doubt about it. But there also, too, if it's a friendship kind of a situation, 
I still feel like you might get information that comes out with this reveal what needs to be seen card and the justice card together that does make you look at things differently. So even if you feel like somebody stabbed you in the back, I still feel like you may have a conversation to rectify the situation, to clear the matter up. Because with the black in the cards, there's ignorance there. And so there may be needless worry. There may be something a bit unfounded that somebody else told you that wasn't completely accurate. I still feel like they're worth a second conversation. That's just what I'm getting. And so it's going to be up to you, though, on that. Because I do feel like with your, your energy here, you're sitting pretty. You don't need to entertain any other conversations or second chances if you don't feel like it. I mean, that's that's the real deal with this. So I do feel like, though, with this 10 and 5, these are about change. And the 10 brings in a new cycle. And it brings in a feeling of having power in your life. So that also may be a piece of this. If something was said that wasn't exactly true, I still feel like, I, like we said, like it's going to be up to you what you want to do with the information. So you're empowered here. You have power here. And so with the Queen of Pentacles <clears throat> being in your subconscious, get ready to receive. Now, if you had a dis disappointment with something financial, I do feel like we're moving forward. You're going to get information that makes things make a lot of sense. But also, too, with this Queen of Pentacles, you'll feel very secure in all areas. This is all about prosperity and abundance. So if something didn't work out quite as planned with a job or with a housing situation, I wouldn't waste time on worrying about it because with this Queen of Pentacles, you're going to be attracting something better. The Queen of Pentacles uh, spins straw to gold. So even if you lost a job, you may find that you, you find some extra revenue streams that become available that you may say these are going to be temporary, but I do feel like just to kind of get me by, um, but I do feel like you're going to continue to access those that they actually will become a bit of spending money. Okay. So I do feel like if you're kind of in between jobs, you have a new job coming in, but that extra stuff that you do, if you've been doing a little bit of a side hustle, I don't see you getting rid of that because I, I feel it's going to be profitable. Anything with the Queen of Pentacles brings in more, more, more. And you have two queens here, by the way, the masters of the suit, the master of manifesting the physical body and money and the ma manifester, or master, pardon me, of love in that really great life. So the Hierophant comes in to say, be still and know. Now, I, there's something about this I very much like. I mean, I could pick up half the cards in the deck, but I do actually like this, especially with the chariot in the outcome. So if it's a relationship trouble that you've been having, even if it's a divorce or something with that ending that's here, and of course the justice card, I still see it as you moving forward in a positive way, regardless. Now for some here, if you do have an ending to a relationship, there may be a, still a connection there. If you know you can feel that energy, because we know love is energy. It's never created or destroyed. We just get in and out of alignment with it. And so with the Hierophant, it's truly devotion. And so with this, if you are single, though, you may have somebody who comes back from the past. That may not be someone you ever dated. Um, but with that Six of Cups, there's definitely an energy of familiarity there. It's a sense of nostalgia. And so maybe somebody who seems to get you right away, you click with them right away. And so the Hierophant brings in an energy of like-mindedness. It brings in a point of attraction. So there's no sifting and sorting and trying to make things work. I don't know about that anyway, especially in a new relationship. I feel like this is where things seem to flow. And relationships in the beginning should be fun. They should be easy to be in. It's the later part of the relationship after life seems to come at us that we start to have difficulties. And truthfully, we get out of the energy of love. We don't have all that euphoria and that high that the chemical experience delivers. And so the mind gets back in control. So I definitely feel like with the six of cups, though, it is a return to love. It is a return to trust. So like I said before, with that justice card, there's something about the two of these tied together that anything that you're asking about is very trustworthy. So you can totally let your guard down. You can be in the place where you can relax and have a little fun in your life. So if it was a job and you have had some challenges financially from it, or it was a housing situation that seemed to turn on a dime, I definitely feel like you have a much more, you have a better situation that you can trust. 
where it's not going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening again. So the Six of Cups brings in helpful people along the way. And if you did have the rug pulled out from under you, I do feel like you have people who want to help you, who want to give you, you know, whatever they can to make your life a little better. A little bit of a joy is what I get with this, because this is a card of true happiness. It's a wonderful energy in any reading. Now, I mentioned right after it <clears throat> comes the Seven of Cups. And for those of you that had the big gut punch that's over here, this brings in that sense of trepidation where you go, wait a minute, I don't want to pick the wrong thing because I thought this situation over here was going to be great and it took a turn on me for the worse. And so the Seven of Cups can be a bit of a difficulty with deciding, but it's also a card that says you're manifesting. So be clear, get your energy aligned, get your feelings straight, because if we're having a lot of challenging feelings, we're going to manifest challenging situations that match them. And so with this Seven of Cups, it's all about seeing what you want and being very clear, communicating very clearly with the universe. But I do feel like with this coming in, you represented by the Nine, the Chariot here, this beautiful Chariot and the Outcome, and of course, this Ten of Cups that wants to come along. The Nine of Cups is like you've almost arrived. The Ten of Cups is you're there. So in the Chariot's a card of ultimate success. It is a wonderful card to have in the, the conclusion position that we have it in here today. So whatever you're asking, I feel like they're trying to say it's a yes. But with this Nine of Cups energy, it really is a time of wish fulfillment, of sitting pretty. So if something ended, here's your offer. Here's the new offer that comes in. And I also feel like if you went through a difficult period, the assistance and offering of support from others around you touches you. It touches your heart and soul. Like, God, they actually do care. This is really refreshing to have people who do want to go out of their way a little bit to help. And so with the Nine of Cups, Nines are about realization. So I definitely feel like you have a turning point coming in here. And with the Justice card, we like justice because it is decisions in your favor. It is about moving forward in a way that's very upright and forward and integrous. So I mentioned before, in terms of relationships, whoever this is, they come at things very straight. They come head on. They're not trying to screw around. But I also want to tell you, too, it is a card of making choices more carefully. It's looking at the consequences. And so I also get, too, if it is, uh, either way, it's somebody, whoever this is, they realize the consequences of their past actions. So even if they're new, they may be in a relationship. If somebody says negative things, well, you should hear what they did in the last one. I do feel like they're open about that. They realize that they've made some mistakes. And who's perfect, right? I mean, I know I don't live my life perfectly. I have a lot more of this in me today because I've made 80 million mistakes. But with this, I do see an apology. Okay, I see an apology coming back for some of you, but others of you, it's almost like in a relationship, it's somebody who kind of makes like a living amends from as they go out from here, they're just a better person in relationships. And if it's a job too, though, I still get it's very solid energy. Anything you're asking about with justice is not an energy we need to fear. So this Knight of Cups, okay, with this, it's like, this energy of romance, of really being in love with your life. So whatever it is that you're moving towards here, Leo, is going to be so good. But I want to tell you, too, with this page of cups, the people around you, you got this cancer energy with it as well. The people around you consider your feelings. They consider the impact of their decisions. And it also, too, this is a time, too, where you're going to have an increase in social invitation. So sometimes people write to me and say, Nothing ever changes, but if they don't take any actions, because the, the chariot energy is about going into action. It's not it's not just law of attraction, which it, that is part of it, but it's not just sitting and waiting for the universe to work the magic. It's going out there. It's getting ourselves out there. So they're telling you with the energy of the chariot to go for it. It's time to take a leap of faith. And if it's a love interest, I feel like you got a real soft place to land with this page of cups. It's somebody who takes this sort of thing seriously. Um, but I also want to say too, though, with a job, this is not a job that wants to just screw people over and make their own gain. So, all right, Leo, let's see here what the fortune oracle wants to tell you about money. You have here unity. Got it with the uh, hierophant too is unity. 
a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. So you can let your guard down a bit, I feel, with that. You're attracting good energies, good people, places, things. All right, what else does Leo need to know about love? We have here, appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. So I'm telling you what, if you're getting invitations, I don't care what it's to, I'd go to it. Even if it's a new podiatrist in town, there could be somebody there. So anyway, but with that, Leo, good things are on the way for you. I love you and I'll be back again soon.